115, the mystery element everyone's always wanted to know about. Now it's time to learn about the history of element 115. So as we know, element 115 has two variations in the story timeline. We have the variation from the original storyline from Sheen and Uma, and we have the one from Origins. It's a very different element 115 compared to the original one. So in the one in the Origins timeline, this element 115 is blue. This is a blue 115 could that was used for weaponizing the pack a punch machine in Origins, making the Origins pack a punch machine. This this 115 would pack a punch the weapons and give that blue tint and multicolored tints towards the guns. This was a very good feature that they added with the 115 because that knowing this is a different variation of 115 that we've seen. 115 is also used for many things that go across from both the original 115 and the 115 from Origins. The 115 from Origins and Shinonuma both do weaponized weapons. When weaponizing weapons, they both do weaponized weapons such as the Ray Gun, the Wonder Waff, and the Thunder Gun. The Thunder Gun was made by Gersh, good guy Gersh. Gersh is the Russian scientist that worked on the Ascension project, but along was lost and killed in Grog Krovi. But because Gersh was able to weaponize the 115, he was able to make the Thunder Gun and the Gersh device, making 115 into a lethal weapon and making one of the most overpowered weapons on air, the Thunder Gun, and the most one overpowered tactical grenades ever, the Black Hole device, aka the Gersh device. Richtofen did weaponize the 115 himself. He made the Wonder Waffle, but he made the Wonder Waffle so he could use it for his own doing. He would use the Wonder Waffle for his own plans. But this didn't end so well because Richtofen ended up not using the Wonder Waffle as much because it did not transfer with him on his journeys. When when weaponizing the 115 for the Wonder Waff, he made the Wonder Waff make sure that he uses the element in the Wonder Waff to change from zombie to zombie, kill him over hordes of 24. But in the Origins timeline, this Wonder Waff was not as powerful as the original one because the original one would only kill between 15 to 16 zombies at once. So on the other hand, we have got the storyline of the original 115. The original 115 was originally a meteor that fell from the sky and landed on Shinonuma. It landed on Shinonuma and this is where the elements of the test subjects, Richtofen, Dempsey, Nikolai and Takio Mazaki all found this meteor. They all found this meteor that Richtofen and Group 935 extracted it for the Darius facility to, weapon, to make the weapons weaponized, as also we know earlier. Because it, these were weaponized, because of this, this could make Richtofen more powerful. Richtofen also used this 115 from Shinonuma to make devices such as the MPD device. For making the MPD device on the moon, it was also one of the elements that was not very good for him. Because weapon, point 115 with, with human alive corrupts them and would create an apothecan device. The apothecan devices would corrupt the people who touch it or use it and now he has done that. He has a corrupted Richtofen and Samantha and all those others that have touched the MPD or entered the MPD. But as we know Richtofen and Samantha are the only only subjects that have entered the MPD so far as we know in the zombie storyline. 115 used in the original storyline of Shino Numa's 115 was the actual 115 that actually generated the zombies. Because of the 115 did infection get into everyone with it, the chemicals in it, going into all the undead bodies, this would infect them and reincarnate them to be zombies. Because Richtofen used this to reincarnate the dead with this, but he thought this would just return them back to life by resurrecting them, but no, this was completely wrong. The 115 was actually reincarnated in, in zombie form. Zombie form where they would come back from the dead and try and eat the flesh of those who still live among the human world. 115 also from Shin Numa is also the 115 that made Rick Toffin go lose his insanity. What we mean by this is during the element 115 for Shin Numa, this element 115 is very different on the other hand because it does infect the mind of any to any subject near it. So it infects Rick Toffins by making him more murderous and made him more deadly as in he lost his insanity and this is probably why we always loved this character, Richtofen, because he didn't care for no one, because he lost his insanity. But this also could be Richtofen lost his insanity because of him touching the MPD device, but this is more likely to be the element 115, because the element 115 also cr also changed the way Takio, Nikolai, and Dempsey acted. Nikolai became more drunk and became more obsessed with alcohol because of the death of his wife. Because of the delusions of element 115, 
he became more obsessive that he had multiple wives, but actually he was only drinking to hide from his one original wife dying because of the element 115 missing his brain, that the element 115 would actually make him believe that he lost multiple wives and had multiple lives, but he only truly loved his first wife, and that's the only wife he ever knew. He never had any other wives, but the original wife he had. Takio Mazaki was very changed by this, because Takio Mazaki went in interacted with the element 115 he came more silent and did not talk that much because he was all about his honor and that he didn't very like the perk drinks because of the element 115 inside them none of the characters even liked them but Takio Mazaki actually did like one of the perk drinks in the original one he was the only test subject to actually get away with it what we mean by this is Takio Mazaki was the only one that liked the quick revive drink that was made of fermented carrion and fish because of this the element 115 might mess with him because I think Takio liked fish, but for me to share in, um, I'll pack. And then Tank Dempsey. Tank Dempsey was the last subject to be infected with a 115. 115 infected him in ma many different ways. He made him forget about all these other teammates in Verruckt, the ones that he went to the Verruckt facility to track down Rick Totham. And it also made him very aggressive towards anyone. What we mean by making him more aggressive, that he would scream at people, and he wouldn't care about them. He was more vicious and all he wanted to do was blow stuff up. Also because of the 115, he actually knew he was actually in a video game. We know this from the quote in Kino when Dempsey's got no ammo. When Dempsey's got no ammo, he tells the players to drop the chips and get him some ammo. This makes us believe that the other 115 actually can make us, make us believe that they're actually in a video game. Could this really be what element 115 could do to us? Leave your thoughts down below in the comment section down below. What other things could 115 do to us? Hope you really enjoyed this episode, the histories and the stories of Element 115 because I really enjoyed making this episode because Element 115 is actually the main point of the story and I really want to do more about Element 115 of what like the Wonder Weapons going in a little in depth for them. If you want to see that, just comment what Wonder Weapon you want me to go in depth with for Zombies in Depth. I might even make a new series out like called Wonder Weapons in Depth or the one I don't know, some Wonder Weapons type title for my series that I'm gonna make on that if it actually want me to do that one hope you guys really enjoyed this video subscribe like do all that good stuff and I will see you guys in a video in the near future